So it's been like six months since ROG released the ROG Phone 5 with the Snapdragon 888 chipset. And we did a review on that quite intensively, extensively, perhaps because we tried a lot of stuff, go through all of the heat testing and whatnot. And then six months after that, we now have the ROG Phone 5S series. It's essentially the same phone, but it's now coming with the Snapdragon 888 Plus chipset as shown on the box here. So what's new, what's different, we'll explore it in today's video. So if you take a look at the specs and software and everything else between these two phones, the ROG Phone 5 and also the ROG Phone 5S, they're both essentially the same. It's just the difference in chipset. Now, they both look different here because this is the ROG Phone 5 base version, whereas this one is the ROG Phone 5S Pro. Now, since the only difference here is the chipset alone, Snapdragon 888, Snapdragon 888 Plus, we decided to put both of these phones to our usual test. So we ran a bunch of benchmarks side by side to see what's different. We started off with 3 d Mark Wildlife and the results are pretty close. But that's only a short burst of performance. What about in the long run? So we tested 3 d Mark Wildlife again, but this time in stress test mode, whereby it goes through 20 loops consecutively and see how it performs over the long run and sustain its performance. And to our surprise, the ROG Phone 5 with the Snapdragon 888 is ever so slightly better than the ROG Phone 5S Pro. And then in Geekbench CPU test, the Snapdragon 888 Plus is surprisingly performing worse than the 888 too. But the GPU side of things is a tad bit better. As for Antutu, we can see the differences clearly here. The CPU on the Snapdragon 888 is better, but the GPU is better on the Snapdragon 888 Plus. The memory score here is totally irrelevant because the ROG Phone 5S Pro that we have here comes with 18 gigs of RAM. But benchmarks aside, we took both the ROG Phone 5 and also the ROG Phone 5S Pro and hopped into Genshin Impact and do the same things together because yeah, Genshin Impact comes with all of these features. This test will show us what's the difference when it comes to real-world gaming performance. We're in Genshin Impact with two phones. I'm on the ROG Phone 5S Pro. He's on the ROG Phone 5 base version with the Snapdragon 888. So where should we go? Go find the, the, the wolf boss, you know. Assuming I don't die. Lah. <laughs> uh, go, go, kill. I'm too weak for that thing. What is that cat? Chill, okay. Wait, so much health! What is that healing? Go, 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 go. So, we are playing Genshin Impact. Highest graphical setting, 60 FPS, but motion blur and bloom are turned off. So, the game we just started like what? Three minutes, and you okay. can see temperature is slowly rising. Forty-eight degrees Celsius now. Uh, forty-seven degrees. Mm -hmm. The and reason uh, why we're doing this is to compare Snapdragon Triple Eight Plus and Triple Eight. So oh, yeah, what's your GPU utilization right now? Eighty percent. Same. I'm eighty percent. Eighty-one. CPU sixty-nine, sixty. Between hmm. it, it jumps around. Uh, 60 and 70. Wait, 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 don't start first. Don't, don't start first. Okay, 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 okay. I forgot the, the, the wolf is uh... water. Ayo, wait, wait, wait. I don't want to use this character. My second character. Change, change, change. How to change? Let's go, boys. This is under. Chipa. Oh, we got You know, no... I'm just gonna run around. I <laughs> can't kill this thing. We have no healer, okay? I tell you. Oh, oh my god! Goodbye! Ouch! Uh, the touch screen is burning my fingertips already. Oh no, 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 no. What's your temperature now? 
uh, around 48. Oh, I'm already at 49. I think it's a margin of error, I guess. It should be around margin of error. Yeah, 48, 49. Why am I standing there? Bro, it's cutscene, why you attack? Because I, I can attack. <laughs> this game is top kick. Oh, the frame drop. Oh, leg. Dead. Who did? So fast. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> did you not see what just happened just now? <laughs> no, I just see some thing blast around, then the wolf did. Okay, uh. Temperature, mine 51 now. 50. For some reason, mine is. The other day, I just walk around here, the frame rate dropped to like 30 something. So, mm. it's a good test. Yeah, it's 32, 39, 42, 38. Yeah, I got about 30, 40, somewhere around there. And the uh, temperature goes uh, 51 now. Same. Just stand around this square. Should both, be okay. both CPU and GPU are at around 80 and 70 range. Oh, yours is higher. This one CPU now is 60%. GPU 80. Uh. GPU is always at above 70. Wow, my CPU is at... Now it's 88. 69, 63. CPU. 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 Your CPU is a lot higher usage. Yes. CPU right now... Yeah, it drops down a bit. Right now it's like 50, 60. If I'm not moving. Let's say if I just move around, then it start to go up. Yeah, 70 something. Okay. Yeah, 70 something. Correct. 70 something. Yeah, if I just stand here not doing anything, then it, yeah, it drops down to like 60 range. 60. Okay, about the same, I would say. Because when I move around, so about 70, 72. GPU 80? About that? Yeah, I think it's a, if you pan the camera around, then it would affect as well. Yeah, and then my temperature is oh, 52. Temperature 53 now. Oh my oh, god. You can reach 52. 53. 53. Yeah, if we like do more of this. Nope, I'm not gonna touch this. Really no, no. Oh, 54 already. 54. 54. Yeah, 54. I'm still at 53. 54. But my fingers are burning. I cannot. Get out, get out, I cannot. This, this stop, 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 stop. Is... All I can say is the difference in performance between the scores is way too minimal. And I don't think it's enough of a difference to rave over the new Snapdragon 888 plus chipset. There's also conspiracy theorists around the world saying that Samsung sabotaged Qualcomm by making the Snapdragon 888 chipset inefficient. Those are some serious accusations and I really want to see some proof. But honestly, I don't think that's the case because Samsung's latest flagships, the Galaxy Z Fold 3 and Z Flip 3 are both using the Snapdragon 888 chipsets as well. And for all I can say, it seems that Qualcomm didn't do proper QC and messed up the implementation of their brand new Prime Core that's based on the ARM Cortex-X1 design. It's not the first time Qualcomm messed up their flagship chipset design and became a heating machine. Take a look at the Snapdragon 810 for the Nexus 6P. But that's a topic for another day because we can go really in depth and talk about heat when it comes to phones. For all I can say now for this phone in particular, ROG did a good job with Asterix when it's come to managing the heat of the Snapdragon 888 and the 888 Plus chipsets. There's no screen dimming issue and no extreme thermal throttling issues that we encountered so far, but it's just very uncomfortable to the touch. So yeah, if you're already using the ROG Phone 5, please don't buy the ROG Phone 5X and expect some miracle to solve all your issues of heating and whatnot. And if you're using the ROG Phone 3, the only thing, the only reason I can see you upgrading to the ROG Phone 5 or 5S is for the audio jack. That's it. And that's all we have to share with you about the ROG Phone 5S, 5S Pro. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. And before I forget the pricing, they're both identical to the previous one. So yeah, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video.